Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Eddie Marcus again. Today, I want to say this. You know when we think about those of you who were against Donald Trump, saw through him. When you think about that, you know how despicable those who can't see through Donald Trump appear to be to you. Well, for those who have become prisoners to the status quo, they appear the same way to those who are instruments of change. Creation is about change. We say that America is the greatest nation on the face of the earth. Every nation says that about themselves and each one of them probably believe it except you can find where the doubt is when people start leaving. No, so we say America probably is, it's the latest, and with all of this and all of that. But in being all of this and all of that, we find out that really America is no different than any other nation. But the time has come, ladies and gentlemen, for change. When we see the emergence and the activities of Donald Trump and those who follow him, I mean totally, and even those pretenders, those fakers, those liars, those deceitful ones who will stand before you and tell you today is day. And in a few moments from now, tell you they didn't even say it. To the same people and expect you to believe it or they don't give a darn if you believe it or not. They are standing on what they said. And because of our mixed up minds and the way we've been taught through our educational system, through our environment, that all total indoctrination has brought us to a point that we have accepted it. But now we have seen put before us that if we do not make the change, that's where we're destined. I'm proud to be able to stand before you, ladies and gentlemen, and say gladly that 30 years ago, I was given a message to share with you that we were on the path to hell. Now we got some idea of that path to hell, what it kind of means. We got some idea of that. And see, that's where we're going. That's just a little taste of it. The question is, ladies and gentlemen, are we going to be satisfied with the status quo, which allowed the foundation for the emergence of just to have vilified and open in the midst right before our eyes, those who are in our midst, who represent what we said we could not stand. So ladies and gentlemen, where do we go from there? I offer to you that you will never have freedom until you're independent. Every last one of you will never have freedom until you're independent. As long as you are dependent, you are blue. Now, what do I mean when I say independence? Well, let me give you a scenario. Let's say that every last one of you had to be individually responsible for your food. We had to make it fine and do whatever you had to do. You remember the beginning days. You've heard about it. You can imagine. You had to be responsible for your building, your housing. You had to be totally responsible for it, getting the materials together, putting it all together after you've done that preparing it to be livable, and then living in it. Lord, how much in education you get, you better remember everything that you do. Oh, but you can't stop there. You know, everybody gets sick. I hate that, but my God, you got to be one heck of a doctor to deal with the things that you as an independent worker got to be responsible for. And as I speak to you, I'm speaking to every last one of you. I mean, you'll be glad to be able to master those times. Yes, you would. But then you think about it, how much easier it would be if you didn't have to do all of this by yourself. And yet you're independent. You got your freedom. How do you mix this with others to maintain your independence, to maintain your freedom? Well, you got to be serious. You got to really want to know how to do it. Because if you really want to know how to do it, you come over a way. And that way would be to let each of you exercise your gifts, the one that gives you your greatest joy. Exercise it 
in this industry of life and each of you exercising those gifts you would find that everything that we've been doing all the time now we're still doing except we are being filled with joy at what we're doing because we have chosen what we do just that one thing we're not responsible for our food clothing shelter housing we're responsible for one act of that and because we've come together and working together because we have done that we've been responsible to one another and now each of those needs wants and desires that we had before are being met through the hands of somebody else and it's not costing you nothing but having the joy of doing what you've been doing all the time my friends that's life now i may think that i must be the voice of change because i don't see anybody standing up i'm telling you right now that donald trump was an indication where we can go and i'm telling you right now what we're talking about going back to where we were being a little nicer and I'm saying a little nicer because is it going to eliminate the pain of food? What is $15 an hour? Tell me, what is $15 an hour? There are people making $100 an hour, $1,000 an hour, $200,000 an hour, and you making $15 an hour. What kind of life can you have compared to the one that's making $200,000 an hour? His job, is it more important than yours? If it is, then how can we equate that to equalize it so he can do everything he want to do and you can do everything you want to do? You got to try something different. You got to change the rules for what we got now. We have to change the rules for what we got now because what we got now is a reflection of the rules we follow. Now, we want something better, then we must design rules that would allow us to live life better. And that requires change. And when you're talking about some democratic policies and $15 an hour and dealing with election laws, what the hell is that, dealing with some election laws? Why in the world are we still bound by this old silly stuff? Ladies and gentlemen, grow up. Grow up. It is time for real change. And I'm, you too, let me go back to this religious community. Thank you very much. You've done your job just as well as everyone else. But now it's time for change. It is time for change. So you've got to change too. Start listening to that spirit that lives in you. Stop talking about the spirit somebody else was telling you about. Let that God that you know live in you and be a physical manifestation of that God and be led by greater love only until next time ladies and gentlemen I want to thank you so very very much remember independence is an expression of your freedom goodbye